Do you have an LG Smart TV like the LG C1? Did you accept the terms and conditions without reading them? If so, you might be sharing more information with LG than you realized. But don't worry. In this video, I'll guide you step by step on how to adjust your LG WebOS Smart TV settings to protect your privacy while still enjoying all its great features. Let's go through the settings you should turn off to keep your data more private. Let's be private. First, let's talk about the terms and conditions. During setup, LG makes it seem like you need to accept everything to use your TV, but that's not true. You only need to accept the terms of use and privacy policy options. The rest, like viewing information, are optional and just allow more tracking. If you already accepted these agreements, you can revoke your consent at any time without resetting your TV. To do this, go to Settings, Support, Privacy and Terms, User Agreements, and uncheck all the options. If you were to revoke the Terms of Use and Privacy Policy, it will restart your TV and all apps will prompt you to accept them again. So if you plan on not using any of the LG apps built in, you can keep that disabled. For example, if you were trying to use a different streaming device. But if you want to continue using the LG apps, just enable them again and it'll start working. Now let's turn off the AI features that collect your data. Go to Settings, General, AI Service. Here you'll see several options. AI Picture Pro, which automatically adjusts image quality based on content. AI brightness settings, adjust brightness based on ambient light, auto genre selection, optimize picture and sound for different types of content like movies or sports. AI sound pro enhances audio quality, especially for built-in speakers. AI acoustics tuning customizes sound based on your room's layout. This requires the microphone on the remote to be activated. So if you do this, remember to deactivate it afterwards. I recommend turning off AI picture pro, AI brightness settings, and auto genre selection. These features might sound useful Useful, but they often over process the picture making it appear unnatural. However, I suggest keeping AI Sound Pro on. It's great for enhancing audio quality, especially if you're using the TV's built in speakers. For AI acoustics tuning, you can decide if it's useful based on your room setup. Also, make sure voice recognition is turned off. You can remove your consent for voice data collection in the user agreements page. I found that leaving voice recognition on can also drain your remote's battery faster, so it's an easy win to turn it off. Now, let's look at AI recommendation. This section includes features like who, where, what, which identifies objects or people on screen and provides more information, smart tips, offers suggestions based off your usage, next picks recommends content based on what you've watched. I recommend turning all of these off. These features rely on tracking your viewing habits and using automatic content recognition ACR to analyze what's on your screen. Disabling them keeps your viewing habits more private. Next, let's clean up your home screen. Go to Settings, General, System, Additional Settings, Home Settings. Here you can uncheck Home Promotions to limit ads. Lastly, turn off Content Recommendations. Go back to Additional Settings and uncheck Screensaver Promotion, as well as Live Plus. This feature tracks what's on your screen to serve you targeted ads. This stops LG from using your viewing habits to suggest content on your home screen. If you have children at home, the safety settings are a great way to control what they can access. Go to Settings, General, System, Safety, and enable the safety feature by setting up a password. Once enabled, you can block specific apps, channels, and even external inputs. This is a great way to ensure your kids don't accidentally access inappropriate content or make unwanted changes to your settings. Let's go a step further to limit ad tracking. Go to Settings, General, System, Additional Settings, Advertisement. Check the box for Limit Ad Tracking and reset your ad ID. This ensures that advertisers can't build detailed profiles on your viewing habits. Next, go to Settings, Support, Privacy and Terms, and enable Do Not Sell My Personal Information. This prevents LG from sharing your data with third parties. To download apps or update existing ones, you'll need an LG account. If you're concerned about privacy, consider creating an account with a fake name and email address. You could use websites like Fake Name Generator to create a name and services like Simple Login and Anon Addy for disposable email addresses. This way, you can still access the app store without sharing your real information. Lastly, make sure your TV is set up to automatically install software updates. Go to Settings, Support, Software Update, and turn on Auto Updates. This ensures you get the latest security patches and features. If your TV is no longer receiving updates, or if you want a more private option, consider using a device like Apple TV instead. You can disconnect your TV from Wi-Fi and update it manually using a USB drive by downloading updates from LG's website. And that's it. With just a few simple changes, you can enjoy your LG WebOS Smart TV without worrying about unnecessary tracking. Let's recap the steps. Adjust user agreements. Turn off AI settings except AI Sound Pro. Turn off AR recommendation features. Disable ads, live plus, and content recommendations. 
enable safety settings for children, limit ad tracking, enable do not sell my personal information, use a private LG account, turn on auto updates. Did I miss any settings or are there different options on newer LG WebOS TVs? Let me know in the comments below and share your tips with the privacy community. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with someone who might need a little privacy boost and that also has an LG TV. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.